day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. The power and the authority that has been wrought in us through Christ Jesus in order to pull down these strongholds, in order to save the law, in order to heal the sick, restore the down problem, strengthen the weak. Oh man, I'm telling you, it is right there. It is so simple. So simple. All we got to do is get out of the way. Just get out of the way. And that's the problem. The problem is human nature is just so counter to that. And that's and that's why I guess we're talking about we're talking about in Romans about the fact is who you're married to. You you, you we're married, at least we're coming into we don't we're coming, you know, Gentiles, right? We're actually coming into the body of Christ, right? We're yeah. coming into the covenant of God through Jesus Christ. So we we were were married to the devil, elder. Hey, the Jews were too. Actually the Jews are married to the devil as well. But well, I think they didn't want them to commit adultery because they were married yeah. to God. That was Bishop trying to say. They were married yeah. to God and they were trying to marry another. Yeah. You're not free to marry another, but you married another and now you commit adultery. For us, we're trying to get, you see what I'm saying is, we were married to the devil. <laughs> and now we come into to, uh, to Christ to marry God or be the bride of God, the church. But we have to break away from, Elvin, you gotta break away from that other husband. Yeah, but see the thing of it is that remember when when uh when the scripture said that those uh those Jews are not all of Abraham all uh, not all Abraham's seed. Right. It was in the case at that point that the Jews themselves in order to become legitimate the seed of Abraham were gonna to have to accept Jesus Christ. Yeah. So they may be biologically your seed, but if they are not spiritually your seed, they're still not, they're not married to them. Right. So what? remember the father says, the scriptures himself say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the father but by me. So yeah. Jesus is telling the Jews, the Gentiles, and everybody else, if you don't come to me, you're not with the father. You're separated. Right. You're not the seed of Abraham, not the true spiritual seed of Abraham anyway. Right. So they too have a necessity to um, to accept the Lord Jesus Christ at some point. What provisions he made for those that die without doing that at this point, I don't know. That's another story. But, but, it's another story truly, but but because he said all of Israel would be saved, all of exactly. Jacob would be something like that. Right. So I don't know how that works out, but I do know that in order for them to step into the presence of God, they're gonna have to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord as well. But he said, remember you gotta be born again, right? Yes, hundred percent. So with us being uh like you said, you know, being yoked to another, I think that we I don't know, man. I, I we had a break. I said we I think we I think we even up with him. I, I as a matter of fact, sometimes I feel better off than either. I, I, I do. I'm, I'm just arrogant like that, I guess, but I think, man, ain't nobody closer to Jesus than me. <laughs> I know it's a lot, but I was thinking is that the message need to just emphasize because you can almost put love in any message that you do right well, almost, it should be love if you don't yeah if you don't you need to stop talking <laughs> you know, yeah, i mean if you talk about the cross you're talking about love yep if you want to do deuteronomy what is the uh the way to, to break away from the things that you would not is by love right amen man. I, I, don't, I won't i won't sleep with your wife because of, of love Right? And, and he even says right Where here. Where did you say, you love me, you keep my commandments. <laughs> See, I put up here, John 13, 34 and 35, he said a new commandment. That's why it's a new commandment, because if you go by the old commandment, it's it's implied, of, it's implied, but it's not saying to love, right? But here it's saying a new commandment given you that you love one another. Amen, man. Yes, I have loved you. What is, when he has I love you, I gave my life for you, right? No Did greater love than man have. One another. Now, nah, question. Look at, look do at you me. know somebody you do that for? Uh-huh. I mean, it's, it's not, I guess it is a rhetorical question. You don't have to answer, but 
You know the bad like that. Well, I know that, I think, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask that question. Let me finish the first part. And by this look, Brother Addison, all men know that you are my disciple if you have love for what? One another. One another. And, and what, Elder, I guess I wanted to tell you your answer was that when Brother Addison and I go into the Tarot's weekend, we go in there with the emphasis of love, love, listen, listen. With the emphasis that we should not, people, they should not see any, what, division mm -hmm. of, between us. We don't go in there with, you know, <laughs> that Brother Addison, I tell you, man, I, you know, you sit in front of the uh, inmates and stuff, then they see division and it, it takes us off message, right? So we said, we're going there, and okay, if you got a problem with your brother, out, outside the outside of the compound, but when you go into that compound now, but we go in there with all in agreement, <laughs> all supporting one another, uh, all lifting everybody else up, right? In other words, they show, they don't see us fighting among, among one another. And I, I do believe that you like if you see greeters. Remember that? Y'all know y'all know that. You got greeters, right? In, in a lot of the big churches. Uh or ushers, right? What what do they do, Elder? Did y'all have to train? What you got train look? Hey, hey Brother Isaac. They, they gotta train them too. Oh what? yeah. You 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 show them, you you smile. <laughs> Man, you, and you, know you show them all the love in the world, you see them down, and then when you make sure they get this gift before they leave. <laughs> and and that, that, I think that's discipleship. But it's done, not it's done on a real level. That's discipleship. That's, that's not discipleship. No, I'm talking about when you teach people love. When yeah, you literally, not, 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 not that, teaching them that, the behavior. That is not the God not, kind of love. That is conditional love. That's that what I was, I was on saying. on the condition that we can get these people to come back and be a part of this ministry. Right. That, that's, that's condition. Not, that ain't, that's that ain't not unconditional. That's not, it's not, it's not even yoking yoke with the source. In order for us to really get the true love of God in us, we need to yoke with God himself. And so our, our, our process toward one another should be to bring one another in fellowship with, and what does the word say? We had a God for reconciliation. Yeah. Reconciliation ain't with me as a man. Reconciliation needs to be with Christ, right. Jesus, yeah. so that he might be reconciled to the source of what we want to be. Yeah. And that's love itself. Yeah. So, what we do should not be feigned. It shouldn't be a a, 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 a mimic or a, or an actor. It shouldn't be hypocrisy. It has to be done. And I think in order to dispel the darkness that's around us, it has to be done in sincerity. Yeah. If you don't, the, and, the, and the first thing that I mean, honestly speaking, now I must confess this morning. One, there are several people that I come in contact with that I don't have that compassion for. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they, they might have done something to me. Uh, yeah, well, on most cases now, because I got past the, you know, just, I don't like you calls, but they may have done something to you, you know? And and there's a there's an unresolved issue between you and that person. Exactly. Your yeah. compassion to award that person diminishes. Right. They, you don't mind seeing them go through a few things because it's like, you deserve it. <laughs> what I'm saying? Right. Come on. Right. I don't know if y'all ever go through that or not, Man, but, but I say something. I look at some situations where like, you need to be. I, you know what I'm saying? I can I can testify on that. You know? I can testify. Like, God, you you look, need to be. You just need to get whooped. You're gonna be all right. But, but I can tell you that there's there's been times, even even on social media. Okay, you you go on Facebook and all the people that you you friends with, if if at all possible, if their birthday is showing. And 99% of the time, I always, you know, happy birthday. It's, it just takes a brief moment of my time. Right. But I could, I could share that type of love, even, you know, just to, just to reach out and, and, and say that. Because you never know, they might, they might need that, that day. And, uh, but there are some people that pop up, it's their birthday, <laughs> and I just look at it and move on. You're like, why? Now, 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 why am I doing it? Why is this your baby? You know, why, why, no, why am I hesitant to just say, how does that hurt me? That same little moment of time for me to type, you know, happy birthday to everybody else. Why do I hesitate 
to say it to other folks that I have history with. You know what I'm saying? Yep. There's something there that I got to get past. And that's just a testimony. Because I'm not perfect. But like I tell my wife, I'm that close. <laughs> <laughs> See, every day I'm that close. The next day I'll be that close. I'm that close. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm really not. And and the fact that I can see my my faults and the spirit is dealing with me with it, it blesses me. Yes, sir. Because yeah, I, yeah, I can move yeah. forward in that. I, I think and get a little closer to, to becoming uh the person that, that God would have me to be through Christ. So yeah. um, every system carries with it liability and your responsibilities and and, 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 uh, and and also I guess benefits. Um, so what, what I, I find out was that the more I can walk in the front of the will of God, the spirit of God, the better I'm off in every area. So I, I, I look at those areas of weakness as far as like interpersonal relationships are concerned and whether I can love my enemy or not. And I literally begin to associate it with my health. And I can see how by not that. being, there's a relationship between the two, man. Don't you do can't, that. Don't do that. There don't, is. Don't don't allow the enemy to put a stumbling block in your life. And, and I have, just, this is just personal. I'm just saying this to you, El. Don't allow the enemy to use that as a stumbling block in your life, in your health, because you realize it, and the spirit is bringing it up. You just walk in. And, 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 and start achieving the things that you know you need to achieve. But God said, by his stripes you are healed. Mm -hmm. Your actions ain't going to change that world. Come on now. There, there, there's a place of, when I say there's a place of, there's a place of access. The, the world, when Jesus Christ died, he gave his life for the whole world. His blood was shed for the entire world. Not just the ones who accept him, That's right. but the ones that don't. So they position themselves not to receive the blessings of him. There's one space in there where it says having their, blood, their, their conscience is sprinkled with the blood of the lamb. And we just went over scripture just a few minutes ago. All you're saying is true. There is a, there's a, there's a, but there's a condition. And I think it has more to do with what's going on between in the space again as to whether or not we stand righteously before God. And if we are standing righteously before God, we can receive those blessings as well. But when we are aware that what we're doing, like when Paul said, when the law revived, I died. Yeah. When we're aware that there's certain things in our love feast that don't fit what he's trying to get done, I think that is a Holy Ghost nudge to say you're misrepresenting. And then that, that when that comes in, then the favor is a little bit more difficult to receive because you realize that there's some things that you need to tighten up. And so your conscience kind of bothers you more so than anything else, probably well, way more than what God did. And, that, and uh, that's the battle. That's the yeah, battle. And, and believing but in, and applying your faith in God's word because but you, you can't allow that one area that if I don't do this, then this is not going to manifest. It's going to affect that. Then what's to say that your very spirit has been saved? What, what you, what, what, you know, what, what, so you 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 can't apply it to one small section of God's grace, God's love, God's restoration, because then you're saying that God's not complete, no, what, what, and what, that what, you what, have control over over the spirit that has been sealed. Within you, there, there, remember the scripture where it says, and it says, "Forgive us our debts, even as we forgive our debtors." It says, and then he goes on to say, "If you don't forgive men's trespasses against you, neither will you be forgiven." Now, this is after the work. This is Christ saying it. This is after the work had been completed on the cross. So, I mean, I mean, subsequent to the work being completed on the cross, um, mercy. If you wish, if, if, blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he gives us an out almost for every situation that we find ourselves in. Every, he said, basically, 
whatever you want to receive, that's what you put out there. So you want forgiveness, you forgive. You want mercy, you show mercy. Yeah. And he demonstrated that in the parable with the with the with the, the guy who had owed the guy so much you could never pay him, who went out and jacked the other dude up, <laughs> who owed him a little money, who right. choked him out, right. and then he ended up in jail. The only reason that guy ended up in jail was not because of the debt. He ended up in jail because he wouldn't forgive the other guy his debt. Mm -hmm. where's, where's, unforgive, where's love and unforgiveness? Right there. It's, it's manifested right there. The guy did love the guy that owed him. He did. He did love. He That's did right. not show love toward him. Yeah. And so because he didn't show love toward him, he didn't receive love. Exactly. So it's like God has kind of situated us in a, in a funny kind of place and said, like, you can receive all these blessings. This is for you. Even though you're messed up, you can be forgiven. You can see a, a totally different kind of life. Exactly. But you gotta, you gotta act. You gotta. It was. It, what do you say? You, it ain't a forgiveness. It's a giving. Love them. Love. If you love them, you're gonna cover a multitude of sins. Now, who says you cover your own? Right. I mean, you, you, you can be a wraith for somebody, but if you really care about people, yeah. look at, look at what David. David to me was like his behavior was really reprehensible but he loved God mm -hmm. and his love of God really established his relationship with God yes, yes. and so I think when you when he's talking to us it's the same thing exactly. your relationship is going to be established with that person or their relationship with you and you is going to be established by the love you care for them. that's hard because when people in behavior don't appease our desires we have a tendency to show them we have a tendency to put them to the side. We have a tendency to abort them. But I know we can pray for them, yeah. that love to manifest itself in us for them. Right. And that's the one thing that I'm, I'm finding out that I've kind of wasted some prayers in the past because I didn't pray for the love of God to be shown through me toward another individual. Toward another individual. There you go. Yeah. And, 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 and that is a place where I, that's one of the foundational prayers that I think we should have. It's like, Lord, give me your compassion for your creation. I know you already give it to me, but let it manifest to me. You know what I'm saying? Amen. If I got the Holy Ghost, yeah. I love the worst of them. Yeah. It's just like that prayer. What's that prayer where the guy said, Lord, uh, I pray that I do not hurt somebody? On a purpose. It was Jabez. Jabez, right? It was a prayer of Jabez. He wanted, don't, the one word, I think it was Jabez. Yeah. But I remember the one where he said, don't, don't give me too much so I won't go on and don't give me too little so I had to hurt nobody to get it. It caused, caused someone pain. But yeah. that's what I'm trying to say is that I, when I started off right out this morning, was the fact that the reason I was talking is, it's, it's, it's time to enter, just in, make sure it's included in your messages that love, right, is the fulfillment of all the laws anyway, right, in the prophets, right? Mm -hmm. just, just to make sure that when we, any of your message can always push, show where love is in it. It, it can show that, and even in uh, Romans 7, when we was talking, if you commit adultery, then where's the love in it, right? If, if, if sin revives, Elder, how do you deal with it is where I deal with love for one another, right? See, love, like you said, comes a multitude of sin. Love is not selfish. That's when we're dealing with 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 13. If you don't have love, it has no value to you. So we gotta learn the law. I mean, just saying, just think, just put that in there as you bring the, as you be, be disciples, is to let people know the message is love. It is. We love and kind of. I mean, home. everything about the, the gospel, the bottom line. If you want to CIT the gospel, is love. That's right? it. Love. Period. Love. That, to me, that's love. it. And now look, but, look. But I think the issue becomes how the manifest. Right. Well, well, I and, and I remember when it said that if a man does not love it, if a man does not chase his son, he hates him. Uh huh. Right. And then there's another one. So correction, rebuke, yeah, all of these things are part of that love manifestation. Right. And but it should always be toward the edification of the individual it's directed toward. Right. Now I'm not beating my kid because he's getting on my nerves. <laughs> I'm, I'm spanking him because. They need to be brought in correction concerning something that they're doing. 
and that to align them better with the Lord, not with me. So the scripture that admonishes us in the Old Testament, bring up your children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. The Lord. Yeah. So I might approve of it. You know, me and him might be able to sit down smoking dope together, because that's me. But does the Lord want me smoking dope with my child? Probably not. So we have to use his measure, I mean, his value system as a measure for our behavior toward everything that we do. Exactly. Then we can call it love. Because, you know, in the Old Testament, they were like, that wasn't love, was it? Was God showing love to what Israel when he swallowed up like 30,000 people in a second, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in a moment? He was killing them off like they were like, I mean, lambs in the slaughter for real. He, he, was, he was cutting out, he was doing a surgery, right? To me, that was a surgery toward the, the body of Israel. Well, okay, but if where's you look love at, at? Look, if where's you look love? at, look at the human body, which is often how the, the, the churches look at right throughout the bible if there is a cancer yes got it out. in a human body right you want to surgically remove that remove it right if your foot has gangrene in it come on now you want to cut that foot off before it affects the rest of the body right now that don't don't mean god can't manifest another right. foot because right. I remember Jesus saying, stretch forth thy hand. Right. But do you the hand that was withered regrew? Exactly. But you remember I other remember thing? Jesus putting some spittle. Come on now. In the ground and making the clay and putting it in somebody's eyes Come on. and restoring eyes. Right. I remember a woman with a sickness and tried everything. Right. And just by the faith. Come on to touch this man come on now he had been healed after every effort of her yes. and man yes. he relied on the love of god and pulled out virtue from right. from that man so there there's something to this it is so and I, I put this scripture up here too uh back in love again because it's, it's written all throughout the scripture like you was even giving an example this is 1 John 4, 20, or 4, 19. We love him, what? Because Elder, he first loved us. First love, bro. Right? And, and if a man say, I love God, Brother Addison said, I love God, but hated his brother, he's a liar. For he that love is not his brother, whom he has seen. How can he love God, who he has not seen? Yeah. And this is the command we have found, we have from him. He that he who loves God, love his brother also. That, that's the message I'm saying is that as we move forward is to don't leave that out. You know, cause you hear people get praised. We're telling you before you came, but as we hear people had no problem say, oh, I love God, I love God, hallelujah, putting the hands up in the air. We want to make sure that you love your neighbor too. Because that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to love your neighbor. And I think I think the message you all, if y'all mind me saying it, and I'm bringing it from a, not political, but from a systemic racism. I think some, reason, some of that message was, was taken off the table because it allowed the abuse. What do you think, Elder? It, it, it allowed the abuse of, of people for 400 years. It allows you to go and shoot somebody seven times. It allows you to put your, your knee on somebody's neck for nine minutes until they die. You know that? And, and you know, another thing too, Elder, I was sitting there, uh, I know you probably won't agree with this. I even felt, I felt sorry. Look at this, check this out. You gonna check this. I felt sorry for Chauvin. Hey, but as I tell you, you, you gonna trip off on this one. I felt sorry for that guy that got the sentence, for, that police officer, that got the sentence for 22 years. And, and it's not sorry. Who got, who got sentenced for 22 years? That's uh, Chauvin, that, that guy. That, oh. You say you felt sorry for him? Man, I'm gonna explain what I meant. I felt sorry for him because that and that guy. He didn't get enough. 
I'm, I'm sorry. What I'm saying is that, yeah, he should have got more. I'm saying is that the the guy thought he was doing right. There's a problem. Oh, no, no, no. You you can't believe that. Guy, you can't say that. Did you see how he looked in the... Uh, did, did he say he thought he was doing right? He, he thought he... Well, yeah, I mean, that was his lawyer. He couldn't say much at all. His lawyer had to speak, right? His lawyer wanted the case dismissed. The lawyer said that uh, the guy was doing his job. The guy was uh, distracted. You remember all the excuses they was trying to those use? Were, those were excuses. Uh, I don't remember him even making a statement he, well, that he, I was doing my job. He made a, he could be uh, talking about children, right? Yeah, he could have made a statement. But he could, but he, he was advised not to. Right. He could have. He, I mean, there was plenty of times when they had the 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 media had their mics up and asked him questions. There's yeah. plenty of times he was standing next to his lawyer when his lawyer was speaking for him. And they he could have just said what he needed to say. Right. They, and there was time in the courthouse <laughs> where he could have said, "That's what they trained me to do." Well, not, well, they, they, that's what he put the experts up there for, right? He couldn't say nothing because what you, if you, if you say something, remember like OJ says something in the court during the trial, and the lady said, "Put him on, the, put him on the stand, put him." On the yeah. Because he was to say nothing. Yeah. He can't make a comment. If you make a comment, well, if 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 he was doing what he was trained to do and what he thought was right, why not get on the stand and say that? That's why he put those uh, his witness, his expert witness on the stand, remember? Yeah, but but I mean, that's just proof that, you know, there's, there's just a whole lot to be said. I'm not even going to touch on that anymore because I don't want to touch there's a lot of stuff that to be said about that whole scenario. There's just too many, too many nuances. Well, what I want to say is not, the reason I said sorry for the person not to say that he didn't get what he deserved, he should, was the fact is that if the systemic issue in our history, you know, gave room for those actions, gave room, you know, like you saw those pictures back in the, I guess in late 20s, late 1900s or something, where they had the whole town took pictures of a lynching, you know, okay. uh, or, or when they was able to, or when they were, they lynch a black person, burn the person alive, burn the person alive. After they what mutilated the finger, take all, cut, cut all the fingers off, all the toes off, cut the person's, you know, penis off, then burn them alive, and 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 then sold the pieces of, of whatever. Yeah, yeah. Where's the love? You know what you, you you there this is the thing. You there's no need to try and find love where there is no love. You see what I'm saying? There's no try there's no 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 need to try and find God where God is is no is not found. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so that 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 whole scenario of what was going on then and all that other stuff. Now you know that that was so ungodly exactly. that it it, it it takes a, a a child to figure that out. Exactly. So <laughs> They had children looking at the, at the, you know, somebody lit. They even had one photo where a girl, right, is looking up at a lynched person, having no, ever having no regrets, no uh, reaction. No remorse, no nothing, because that is her nature that she was being brought up in. That's her nature taught. It is not yeah. Well, uh, that's the question. It was, was it taught or is it innate? It was, I think that it's the most probably is innate. And I say that because it says that the heart of the seat was above all things and desperately wicked. What's hard to embrace is the tragedy or the catastrophic failure that occurred yeah. in the in the garden when they partook of their fruit. Yeah. And we say if God is love, they separate from love itself. Yeah. When they, and so when we did that, we corrupted to the core. Yeah. It wasn't just like, oh, they turned bad, look at it. Oh, they turned desperately wicked. Well, well, Elder, can I say something on that? Can I, can I, be the fact that they, there was good and bad, right? Man has an innate good and bad. 
right? You got you got the knowledge of it anyway, right? Well, I we not we know we yeah I know but mm, our the, nature ain't good and bad. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, now, I, would you can y'all say that? Can y'all say I can say it without a reservation on that one. When we fell in front of God, man, we corrupted to the core. Well, I mean, <clears throat> it, it, a, a lot of people are not a restraint. Take a look at a child, <laughs> a baby. A baby has no knowledge of we say right or wrong. But what would they innately do? Something wrong. Have you ever picked a child and they grab your face and try to pull it off? Amen. Brother. They did love you, it that did much. You, did you teach? <laughs> did you teach your kids out loud? Did they just learn it by themselves? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just lie, man. Did you, did you get the cookie? You got the cookie all around your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't the garden cookie. <laughs> I think about it. Come on, man. <laughs> I think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brother, it implies here that the brother Abel, though, was a good man because God respected his offering. Does it mean that he was good? You don't think so? I think he was good. That's true. But I think it was a good, I think a majority of, of mankind has a good nature. I ain't saying that they don't have the struggles of bad, but there's good people out there. I mean, there's good. I ain't talking about they real good, but they're not real bad. How's that? <laughs> they have something constraining them for acting on their real bad behavior. Like they either scared or they feel like they're weak and can't do it. And it's, I remember she said, this is power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolute, right? I don't think that that's true. I think the corruption is already there. It's just absolute power allows you the opportunity to express it. Um, most of us, and I, I, I had to get them on so at some point you know man i can get what i can get away with <laughs> I mean, what i thought i could get away would have done worse if, if i had had the opportunity that, that just look, look at, even when we think about uh racism if we had had the opportunity to retaliate would we not have retaliated I, we was, would have I, and that's prior to salvation now after you get saved you start thinking about it a little bit but I think I'm like, I, at one point in my life, I wouldn't even want reconciliation to be on the table. It's like, we, we, hey, you know, we need to prove ourselves strong and mighty, you know? But that was that was the, the, the demic nature, man. And the, a demic nature is expressed in almost everything that we do. We don't play sports because we love the other team. We play sports to beat them down to the dirt. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just out there to win. I'm about to take your head out if I can, you know what I'm saying? But don't forget, don't forget in the end, though, they're supposed to shake hands. They do, right? Right. If you're still what... standing, if you still got a, a hand or a head to bring it to the table. But when we play ball, you know who good and well, you were not out there to hook that person. For a season, you went totally primal. You became a beast. And, we... and we and we sought to get to that state so that we can extract as much punishment on them people that we could. And I think that's human nature. Human nature is brutal. Well, what is, I mean, human nature is right, did he? The sin has a tendency, or the hate, or the animalistic part, uh, yeah. alpha, alpha, being an alpha male or whatever. Yeah. It's dominant. Eat the wheat. It's dominant, but they, they but there's a, there's an element of good to it. I mean, they're saying it's, it's good. Matter of fact, Evan, we're going to have to do the communion with Brother Addison. You get ready to leave. You got to go to? Okay. If you don't yeah. like I, I think that the thing with the kingdom of God and the kings of the world, which we were a part of, is that the strong did survive? Exactly. And the strong we eat the weak. Right. And and we look up to the strong. I mean, we're not going out there trying to find a, a mimic the Pee Wee Herman. We want Arnold Schwarzenegger. We want Van Damme. We want uh, Triple X. You know, we want the <laughs> Alpha Dog. We want to be the Alpha Dog. Women don't want no wimps. They want Alpha Dogs. But you know, there's, there's, a, there's a there's a there's a there's a but it ain't God. <laughs> Right, there ain't God for one thing. There you go. It, it's not God. And it ain't really the power. The power ain't really there. I mean, we say you, you can say this mountain be down and move and catch the young see. What muscle gonna help you move a mountain? Yeah. Do Two that, powers in the kingdom. And let's do that communion before he leaves. All right. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who we love. And exalt. <laughs> I agree. 
But yeah, that's definitely something we want to work on. Cleared, cleared the temple with a whip. Beat them folk out of it. But that, they said, we talked about it earlier, we said that, you remember, like, you discipline something. Uh, a love sometimes means telling somebody what they don't want to hear, right? Oh, uh, yeah, most of the time. <laughs> it is, right? Yep. Like, in other words, not saying something is showing the, uh, showing not that you care, not showing that you care. I, I think so. Because sometimes we care more about how people respond to us than whether they're going to do well or not. Exactly, exactly. You see somebody in trouble, you need to warn them for their own sake. If they never speak to you again. Right. It's like the watchman, right? Like the watchman right. power. So I think yeah. there's, a, there's a combination of that. Uh, but let's go and do, uh, Brother Addison, uh, hell, you want to go ahead and do the communion? On the night that he was betrayed, <clears throat> he took bread, he blessed it gave thanks and praise. He broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, all of you. This is my body, which shall be broken for you. Whenever you do it, do this, do it in remembrance of me. So he took the bread, he break it, and he gave it to his disciples. And they ate. Supper was ended. He took the cup. Again, he gave thanks and praise. He blessed it and gave it to the disciples and said, Hey, drink, all of you. And this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It shall be shared for you and for all men, so that sins may be forgiven. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. So he took the cup in his right. Amen. We're going to pray, 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 brother Addison now so we can keep him going. Yep. And then we might can talk a little bit more others. I know that I wrap some things up. But uh, let's go ahead and pray, brother Addison. Where you got to go, brother Addison? Any place you got to go? Uh, I have family here. I have taken the breakfast. Okay, cool. All right, let's pray for let's pray us out there, Elder. You and I, we can talk a little bit after. You. Father God, thank you for this time of fellowship. Lord, we're trying to get to know who you are better. Yes, Come we're on. trying to get to know who we are better. Come on, yeah, yeah. No, we we just trying to improve this thing, and we, we we believe. Yes, it's been a growth process, Lord. It's been a part of the learning curve, and that those who have gone before us will not exceed us in the things that you have for purpose for us. Yes. You said in your in your own word that works greater than yours, we were comfortable. We know that you're not a man that you should lie or the son of man that you should repent. And what you have spoken, you will bring to pass. So we thank you, Father God, for having put us in your classroom. Yes. We thank you for diligently teaching, teaching us and giving us the burning desire to know more yes. and more and to grow in you, Lord that your glory may be made manifested in the earth and that the principalities and powers might be brought to nothing mm. and that the people might see and rejoice in the power that you are and receive you as Lord in their lives and receive eternal life even as we have received. So continue to strengthen us, Lord. And even as Brother Addison goes forth, we pray, Father God, that you take he, he, you travel in him. Yes. Let him go forth as a vessel, as a host for the Holy Ghost. And let your presence in him be made manifest to his house. And let them be drawn to you by him. And yes. Father God, we ask similar blessings for ourselves. Pastor Taylor, let us be those magnets that draw people to you. Gotcha. Yes. This I pray in Jesus' name. Let us travel in love, continually so. Don't get in the name of my Lord Jesus, I pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. Hey, well